Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about some of the uh, the interactive and automatic silk screen functionality that's available in WalkAd and Allegro. So you can see from the board I've got here, I've obviously got um, some silk screen, maybe text and component outlines that I need to need to modify. Now, obviously, the silk screen is coming over things like vias, and, and I've got some some pads that are causing issues. Um, so manually, you can obviously just go and start to edit some of these line segments, or, or just move the text about. So you know, I could use the move command. Uh, using the fine filter just to have text enabled and, and kind of pick the text that I want to move, locate it somewhere where I want to have it placed. But there's there's more of a, an automatic way to do this um, using some of the tool options. So if I go to the manufacture menu, there's something called the silk screen option. Um, now here I can obviously run an auto silk command on, on the top layer, the bottom layer or both. I'm just going to run it on the top layer for this example. And then I say what layer I want to specifically take from the board geometry to place it onto something called a like a manufacturing auto silk layer. I can change um, whether it includes lines and text. I can also change the rotation of text so that I only use say the zero and ninety degree rotations when it's placing the, the reference designator text. And there's different options that I can kind of go around and set. Um, let's have some clearances. So I always have at least a I don't know a 0.1 millimeter clearance away from any pad. Um, I can run an audit which will go through and just show you what it's going to produce before it does but let's just click on silk screen and what this does is it effectively it finishes the silk screen command um, it makes a copy of anything that's on the, the default layer so you would normally use in your manufacturer artwork you would use something like a, a board geometry silk screen top a package geometry silk screen top layer this takes a copy of all those la that layer information um, so let's just turn everything off um, and generates a manufacturing subclass called auto silk top so if I turn this on now, you can see, let's just turn on the board outline as well so you get an indication of what's going on. Um, what it's done is it's actually started to clip some of the silk screen lines automatically to, to clear things like the pads and the via. So you can see it's cut that line back automatically to, to clear the, the silk screen that I need. Um, and that's kind of a basic silk screen functionality. I could then go and instead of using the, the package geometry silk screen top in my artwork film, I could use the auto silk top layer and just have that as a single layer and that would generate the artwork for me.